Well, getting rained on for hours on end isn't the most glamorous gig, but the Sky Magic Pyrotechnics crew is a determined bunch. While the rain has put a damper on many fireworks displays across the Wabash Valley, the only thing that can stop Sky Magic is lightning. News 10's Lacey Clifton has the story. Before the... There's lots of... Will Breeden of Sky Magic Pyrotechnics has worked with fireworks for several years. It's a trade he says isn't for everyone. You tell people, I do fireworks shows, like, oh, that's so cool, I want to do that. And then you get people out here and they do one and they don't want to do it anymore. This is basically our description that we get. Most of it's in Chinese, some of it's in really bad English. But Brayden keeps really coming back season word, after season. Because we actually end up fanning these out. The Sky Magic Pyrotechnics crew is putting in hours upon hours of work to show the town of KZ the best fireworks display possible. But today isn't an ordinary show. The crew is battling some soggy conditions. There's moisture in the air. The fuses burn slower, so it goes back to our timing. If you want a faster show, uh, you can't force black powder to burn any faster if it's wet, so that kind of works against us. While many displays across the Wabash Valley have canceled, we're going to go, we're going to try to go at nine, so hopefully at least a half hour before that. Braden says the rain can actually make for a unique show. When the fireworks explode, uh, as we all know, they sparkle and twinkle and glow. Now imagine having millions of tiny little prisms in the sky to essentially magnify that effect throughout. So that's really nice. That's an effect you can't get on a dry, clear day. That's a five inch silver peony with a tail. Whether he's fighting the rain, heat, or bugs, Breeden says one thing makes it all worthwhile. The few seconds after the finale, when it's all done and you can hear the crowd from a thousand feet away just going nuts, that to me is the best part. That's only 30 seconds or so of the whole day, but that makes it worth it. So if the showers creep in, don't skip the celebration. Hop in the car, throw on the windshield wipers, and enjoy the show. With photojournalist Gary Bryan, Lacey Clifton, News 10. Casey's fireworks show is scheduled to start tonight at 9 at Fairview Park. To see when your local fireworks display starts or when it's been rescheduled for some, head on over to WTHITV.com.